Hey guys, welcome to my show. Um, my name is Amy Shine. You may be watching this on YouTube or listening to my podcast, um, The Amy Shine Show. <laughs> and um, today's topic is um, having ease during the holidays. And it's one tool I'm going to share with you today and I'm going to talk about that I actually found um, created a lot of space for me just this since we're just over Thanksgiving here in America um, and we're coming into Christmas and um, how do you like how do you spend this time around your family and your friends and and especially around family and and still have ease and still have you and still have space and still have your joy and not get into um not just get you know those that heaviness and that density that sometimes happens from being around um, family or being around other people or just being out of your you know regular routine so I just spent um Thanksgiving with um some family and it was really nice and um I noticed though um something I noticed is okay so there's certain energies that I'm really aware of so for me um I'm really aware of anxiety and um, it's something that I could be standing in a queue next to someone in the shop or whatever and if that person has anxiety I can feel it in my own body so it's an energy that I'm super sensitive to and um, I pick up on it from other people all the time and um, so if I'm you know staying with friends or family or whatever and um, and someone in the house has a lot of anxiety I immediately pick it up and um, and I only need to like sit next to the person or, you know, be around them. And I start to feel it in my own body. And I've been like this for, you know, many years. And over the years, I've used the tools of access consciousness to help me to create more ease for me. And also getting my bars run and getting body work done as well has been such a gift for me in creating space in my body. And also letting my body know it doesn't you know, need to take on other people's stuff. So... And um, I found, you know, the other day I was like around someone and they had a lot of anxiety and I, and I could feel it in my body, you know, just kind of building up. And um, so the first thing I usually do is I usually go like move and like uh, some movement usually kind of helps me dissipate the energy. So I went out and I did some movement and, and um, it was pretty intense, like, uh, you know, it's pr pretty intense. So I was doing some breath work and some breathing into my body. And first off, getting really present with it, like getting present with what's going on and the energy that's up for you and the energy that you're perceiving in your body or you're feeling. And um, so I just got present with it and I was just breathing into my body and I was, you know, moving. I was doing some cycling and I was like, okay okay, body, you know, I get that this, you know, that this, that you were aware like, so, you know, I get that I'm aware of other people and their anxiety and, you know, and now it's kind of like locked up in my body. So I asked my body to dissipate and release it to the earth. And I keep kind of just asking, okay, body, can we dissipate and release this to the earth? And it wasn't really changing. And the breath work wasn't really changing it either. And then I was like, okay, so what other tool can I use? Because that's what I do when I get into funks. I go, okay, what tool can I use to change this? An interesting point of view popped. Now, interesting point of view is a tool from Access Consciousness, and it's um, kind of like a phrase you use. So, if you're ever, you know, like everything we think and feel is like a point of view. So, it's like, um, you know, if you go to like if somebody says the couch is black, and you're like, no, it's red. And you go to like resist the fact that they think it's black and you want to fight but for your the rightness of your point of view. If you use interesting point of view in your head, it actually gets you out of that like fight where you're either trying to fight with someone or you're aligning and agreeing with them. So it's like interesting point of view, they have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, they have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. And it, it starts to unlock you from that kind of craziness where you're trying to like fight for your point of view. So I thought it was kind of funny that the other day, like I was feeling this, you know, all this anxiety in my body and interesting point of view popped because before I would only always use interesting point of view for things where I was like angry, you know, I wanted like maybe somebody said something to upset me and, you know, say Mike, my husband said something and I want to like feel like I want to fight with him. Then I would use interesting point of view in my head. I would use it a lot 
for my reaction patterns and also, you know, for my points of view, say if I have the point of view about money, oh, that's a lot of money. I would use interesting point of view. I have the point of view that it's a lot of money. Interesting point of view. I have the point of view that, that blah, blah, blah. So it was kind of funny that it popped for the anxiety. I was like, okay, like I haven't ever really used interesting point of view on my emotions before. Like as in, not my emotions, but as in what my body was feeling that was overwhelming for me or that felt like it was overwhelming. So I started to use it. I'm cycling around. I'm like, okay, interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Yeah. Interesting point of view. This other person has this point of view. Interesting point of view. I have the point of view that this is anxiety. Interesting point of view. They have this point of view that they have anxiety. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view that I'm feeling this intensity. Interesting point of view. They have this point of view. And I just kept going over and over. Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. Interesting point of view. They have this point of view. And it started what I started to do. And it didn't make sense. That's the thing. I was like, I don't, this doesn't make sense. It's not logical. Like, I don't know what the point of view is. And I don't even, they don't have a point of view. I'm just aware of their body. But what I started to unravel was every time I said interesting point of view, I have this point of view. And I was talking to the energy that I was feeling in my body, like interesting point of view, I have this point of view with the anxiety, with the feeling, with the energy. Interesting point of view, they have that point of view. Was starting to unravel all the points of views I had about me and that person, my relationship to that person, my relationship to people in general, Interesting point of view, I have the point of view I need to heal people. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that I take things out of other people. Interesting point of view that um, I lock things into my own body. Like all these points of view started to unravel. And it's not necessarily like you need to know the point of view. I just started to play with it. And I started to say it over and over and over. And the energy dissipated a small bit. It started to dissipate. And it started to unlock all the hidden points of views I had that I wasn't even really aware of that had me, you know, in this kind of like density and contraction and like feeling like my body was like, ah. so it was the first time I really started to use interesting point of view with a feeling. And, um, by the time I got back to the house, it actually had gone. The intensity and the anxiety or whatever you want to call it had gone. It was no longer like, I was no longer like like this shaking on the inside. It actually dissipated. So I was like, wow, this tool is actually really powerful. I've been playing with the tools of access consciousness for seven years. I am so surprised how the simple tools we get in the first Access Barrett's class are the most powerful. They are so powerful, but they're so easy and so simple. We forget to use them. You know, and it really just inspired me today to make the show about this too, an interesting point of view, that it's not just for your, you know, your reactions or if you're fighting someone or whatever, or if you're in an argument, it's also for what's going on with your body. What you're feeling in your body is also an interesting point of view. And what I was probably doing was making my feeling like the anxiety significant. I was making it real. I was making it solid. So every time you make something significant and real, you make it solid in your body and then it sticks you stick it in your body and the energy couldn't move so when the minute I started doing interesting point of view I have this point of view interesting point of view they have this point of view interesting point of view I have this point of view interesting point of view they have this point of view interesting point of view I have this feeling interesting point of view they have this point of view that they have this feeling interesting point of view I feel like this and you can just play with it like all the different points of views it started to change because I stopped making it significant and I stopped making it real before I started using the interesting point of view, I was making it so real. And I was like, I'm going to go breathe into it, dissipate and release to the earth. But I was make, even though I was asking for all this, I was making it so real, it couldn't actually change. And I was making it so significant. And I really was so amazed by the time I got back to the house and I was like, oh my God. It was late. It was like later. I was like, oh my God, the tool actually worked. And, you know, maybe it's this tool that helps you during the holidays. Maybe it's who does it belong to. Maybe it's having a drink, you know. Maybe it's, it could be anything. Maybe it's getting out and doing some movement. But it's really like 
to, you know, when you get into funks like that and you start to feel like not yourself or you're picking up on other people's stuff or whatever it is. And if you go and you use one of the tools and it doesn't work, just look for the next one. Just ask, what's the question I can be here that would change this? What tool can I use that will change this? And maybe it's an access tool or maybe it's some deep breath work or whatever tools you have in your toolbox. toolbox. But adding this one, interesting point of view, and I'm gonna, you know, and I'm really gonna play with it more now for all my feelings and and just and also like just wanted to read a bit to you about what interesting point of view actually means. Um it was create you know, it's I'm reading from the um book The Ten Keys to Total Freedom. It's from Gary and Dane, they're both the founders of Access. But what Gary says here is that a point of view is a position from which something is absor- observed. And awareness is seeing what you can see and not having a point of view about it. So how much when you have an awareness, right? You have an awareness, oh, you're aware of the anxiety in the house, or you're aware of the anger, or you're you're aware aware of resistance, or whatever it is, you're aware, aware of judgment. How much when you become aware of something, instead of just being aware of it and seeing it as it is, you actually make it a point of view. You you actually t- you make it right or you make it wrong or you resist and react to it or you align and agree with it and then it becomes a point of view and that's what sticks you. It's the point of view that sticks you, not the awareness. So how many of us judge our awareness? How many of us try to block off our awareness? How many of us actually turn our awareness into a judgment and into a point of view? And that's where interesting point of view can, can undo it and unlock those places where you're making it, making the awareness a point of view rather than just awareness. I was aware of anxiety, but somewhere I made it real. I made it, I made it wrong. I locked it into my own body. And until I undid that, it couldn't actually, it couldn't actually change. So interesting point of view is a tool that actually changes everything, everything. So when you take a point of view, you eliminate space and compress it down to one point. So that's like the solidity that happened with my body, which is where you create a limitation because you cannot be aware of any other choice, possibility, or contribution. You're not functioning from question. And that's when you, when, where, what question can I be here that would change this comes in. So when you take a point of view, you cannot have all encompassing awareness. All you can have is that point of view. And that's the points of views are so insidious. You might not, might not even know what the point of view is. You might not cognitively know. And that's why interesting point of view, like I didn't know I had a point of view about, you know, the anxiety or whatever. But when I started to run interesting point of view over and over in my insane mind, then I started getting, oh my God, okay, I do have points of views here. And, and they, some of them might even not even be from this lifetime. There might be other lifetimes I was a healer or other lifetimes maybe I was, you know, I don't know, anxiety-ridden crazy person. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> so in this reality, you can either align and agree with a point of view, which is the positive polarity, or you can resist and react to a point of view, which is a negative polarity. Either one, aligning and agreeing or resisting and reacting, gets you caught in the stream of everybody else's trauma, drama, upset, and intrigue, and gets you washed away. You're not perceiving and receiving what is. And that's where interesting point of view shows you what is. You don't make it right, you don't make it wrong, it's just an awareness. So... And he says it here, it's not about what you've decided ought to be an interesting point of view. It's about every single solitary thought, feeling, and emotion you have. Feeling and emotion. So everything is just an interesting point of view because none of these points of views are even yours to start with. So if you start to feel pain in your body or, you know, like even upset stomach or whatever, if you start to use interesting point of view, I have this pain, interesting point of view, I have this sickness it can actually start to unravel all the points of views you've got that have made it yours. So you actually get the awareness broader than the refined judgment. So, and then just one last piece, 99% of the limitations people create come from not functioning from interesting point of view. 99.9999% of what is creating difficulty in your life is where you haven't been willing to be able, or sorry, you haven't been willing or able to function from interesting point of view. 
Amazing. I love it. It's so simple. We miss it. It's so easy. We miss it. So, um, so yeah, I hope you got something out of this show, out of the interesting point of view, play with it, see what happens. Like it's really great around the holiday season or, you know, when you find yourself, um, even, you know, if you find yourself coming to points of views about your family, like, Oh, my dad is this. He always does that every Christmas. And this person does this. They're always like that, you know, like, projecting other people rather than just being interesting point of view and as you see the points of views pop up in your head like you know we hear ourselves in our heads say oh this person's always like this interesting point of view I had that point of view because as long as you project that at them they're going to be that you know interesting point of view I have the point of view that this person should change because as long as you project they should change they're not and also, who are you to project that someone should change? And, you know, that's the thing that massively comes up for me in relationship. I constantly have to check back into myself and be like, okay, am I with the person as they are right now? Or am I trying to get them to be something else? Interesting point of view. I have this point of view. And um, so it's amazing tool to play with. Uh, use it. See how you get on, especially, you know, over the next couple of weeks. Um, and for everything you're feeling, everything you're picking up on, you know, uh, you know, if you feel like you're lonely or you're sad, interesting point of view, use it. And if that doesn't work, ask what other tool, what other question can I use? And um, I will see you next week. Bye.